what's up vlog it is week four and i'm currently working on project milestone four at this point and so today's goal is to review all the milestone parts so i know what to do and then depending on how many bullet points are i'll divide it up per day and i'm looking at it right now and we have four bullet points which i'll go over in the next video or in the next section but i'll be working on the first bullet point today so yeah for Project Milestone 4, I'm looking at it, it is worth 60 points, not important. Anyway, we have to have an assembly sketch, which is the assembly of all of our robot parts, individual parts sketch, like of all of our parts we need for it, tentative build of materials, and description of how you will complete each task. So that is what we're working on day one. I know everything I need for it. So day one, I'll be working on the assembly sketch today. So I am back. So for day one, I got done the assembly sketch. I have the front view, side view, and then the back view of what my robot is gonna look like with all the parts lists and the quantity of each part for, this, for the assembly and yeah. So that is done for day one. I'll on the flip side for day two. And for day two, I'm gonna be working on the individual part sketches and the build of materials. So see you later. What's up vlog? Come at you live and just a little update. This is day two and we have completed the individual parts. There. So here is the drawing of the leg. Here's the drawing of the feet. It's just gonna be a simple platform. Servo motor drawing. Ultrasonic sensor. Screw. And the head. So, with that being said, those are all the parts that my team has came up with that we're gonna need for our robot and those are drawn and they will be on google drive to watch and to look at all the detailing and stuff because i know the video like goes by really fast showing each drawing so i uploaded pictures of the drawings as well so yeah individual parts are done the main components of the robot which are the legs the feet and the head those components will be 3d modeled since it's like a um filament kind of material it'll be 3d modeled all that stuff and then we'll leave the head part, I'll show you. Leave the head part hollow so that um, we can put the extra servos on the inside and then um, all the wires on the inside so it has a cleaner look. And then also um, we will assemble the servos. I'll show you in the actual drawing. We'll assemble the servos. The first two servos on the legs, which help the legs move, we'll, sim we'll symbol those as the picture shows and simply like tape them or glue them onto the feet and then we'll put the wires up inside the head before we screw the head together and close it. And then the Arduino board will be screwed onto the back like so in the picture so that it won't be seen really. And then all the wires for that will also go inside the head before we screw it all together. And then the other two servos will go at the bottom or inside. We haven't decided at either at the bottom where the legs start or it actually inside the head as well. Because we need four servos for this to work. And that's the main so yeah, thing. That pretty much sums up day two. We have the individual parts and the tentative build of materials that we discussed. And so day three is the final day in that I will be showing this um description of what we're going to do for to actually get our robot to be working so yeah see you tomorrow hey vlog so it's day three and the final day of milestone four which means today i'm working on the description of how i will complete my task Back again it's been a few minutes and i've thought about it and i figured it out i figured out how i'm going to complete my task and here it is. So first part we did in vlog two. 
and milestone two and we assembled the components and coded each part. I did that, you saw that in milestone two, that is done. I used hookup wires, the breadboard, Arduino Uno, ultrasonic sensor, along other Arduino components needed for the two main parts. And then after that's been done, now I've designed the robot and determined the parts and materials. I talked about that on day two of this milestone and you saw the sketches there right here. That is where I determined all the parts and sketched out what they would look like, etc. And then the last part, make CAD and 3D print them. I decided to make CAD parts because CAD is compatible with 3D modeling, which is just an easy way of printing out everything so it looks uniform. And yep, so that's step three. And then step four is to assemble the Arduino parts and CAD parts and screw them all together, which I, you saw that in my design, how I want it to be all laid out in the end product. And yep, and then plug it in, which you saw that also there's USB, there's a little plug right there. That is the goal is to plug it in so all the Arduino stuff works and it's compatible with my design. So yep, that's it. And we'll check back with you in Milestone 5. Peace out.